Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Genesis chapter 7. Then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven pairs of every clean animal, a male and his female, and two of the animals that are not clean, a male and his female, also of the birds of the sky, seven pairs, male and female, to keep their offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe out from the face of the land every living thing that I have made. So Noah acted in accordance with everything that the Lord had commanded him. Now Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of water came upon the earth. Then Noah and his sons, his wife and his sons' wives with him, entered the ark because of the waters of the flood. We sometimes feel bewildered by all the evil we see in the world, but nothing surprises our Heavenly Father. Scripture tells us that thousands of years ago, in Noah's time, the hearts of humans were inclined toward wickedness, and this grieved the Lord, to the point that He wanted to wipe the slate clean and start over. Noah alone stood out as a God-fearing man. The Bible says he found favor in the eyes of the Lord and describes him as a righteous man, blameless in his generation. This righteousness saved him and his entire family and allowed him to undertake a very big job. God told him to build an ark big enough to house his family and two animals of every kind, a project that is generally understood to have taken roughly 100 years to complete. We read about many faithful believers in the Bible, but Noah proved his trust in God over the course of many decades. He persevered in obedience, even though he had never experienced rain and faced the ridicule of those around him. Noah and his loved ones survived the Great Flood and became the ancestors of the billions of people alive today. Consider the impact of his obedience. Humanity was not wiped out, and in the generations that followed, God, in His goodness and love, sacrificed His perfectly obedient Son, Jesus Christ, to offer us eternal forgiveness. So remember Noah's example. He trusted God and said yes to Him. Will you? Will you? 